Welcome everybody, this is Nightsaber Z42, and we are back with another episode of Oceanhorn. And in the last episode, we went to Bomb Island, got some bombs, defeated our very first boss, and we're back in Tickerel. Because I actually want to use some of these bombs to blow up the mine entrance, I think this is it right here. Cave, crayfish cave, entrance blocked by an earthquake. I wonder if I can use a bomb to clear this out. I'm gonna go ahead and try. Awesome. That actually worked. Sweet. Let's go inside and see what there is. Ooh, a bloodstone. Or thingy. It's gonna beat the heck out of this thing. Chaka chaka chaka. How many do I have? I have like four. Alright. Ooh, only got 10% of the game completed. Huh. Interesting. Hopefully this is gonna be a long one. Let's go over here. Is anything going to attack me? Yes. These are the questions you gotta ask. It's kinda surprising how easy it is to get hearts. Like, it seems like every time you... Okay. It seems like every time you take damage and you beat an enemy, you get a heart back, so... I don't know how I like that. I think they should be a little bit more... Restricting on when they give out hearts. Keep out. But there's a bloodstone right there. I want it. It's mine. I need it. I saw it first. There we go. That makes number five. Yep. Um, we're going to check out this area back to the left. Because this will lead back to the main area. And there I did see this right here. So... Kudos to me for finding it. Any day now. Thank you. I actually wonder what you do with that. Okay, I can't go over there just yet. I need a jumping ability. Oh, sweet. I'm on this side. I don't know where this side is. Hi, this reef is a paradise. It's a small place, sure, but the sand is perfectly soft and the sun is shining 24-7. I'm a bit worried, though. I found bombs and arrows from the bushes around here. I wonder if this reef has a violent history. Kozigra. Awesome, new island revealed, and I can't get up there. Sad. Does this lead anywhere? Okay, for some reason, I, it kind of almost looked like you could go through there. Like there was a gap. So I was wondering if I could explode it. Um, I will need to explode this. Okay, that only got one. And this should get the other two. So I want this over here. So I can get the treasure chest. What is it? It is. How lucky you found a bag of gold. Must be worth 150 coins. Wow. I'm rich. 160 more and I can buy that really expensive item. Okay, this leads somewhere I thought. Oh no, I was trying to figure out how to get up here last time. Because there's a house right here. Right? Something like that. Someone has been staying here. This bottle smells like oil. Oh, we're just totally gonna crash it. There are weird parts lying on the ground. They seem surprisingly high tech. Let's just take the chests. Wow. A golden gear from ancient times. You can have 50 coins for it. And the other chest has... Some bombs. Okay. A bomb. Wow. Okay. Not kind of worth it in my opinion, but I'll take it. Okay. I think that's about all that I really wanted to do here. There's a chest. Somewhere. Can't go there just yet. But there is a chest somewhere around here. I need to shoot that. Okay. I can't move that. I can only explode it. I should be able to drop here. 
Wow. Okay, there's a snake man here. I collect bloodstones around the world. I have collected them from the waters of the world, but I can't reach places far from water. Hey, why don't you help me? If you bring me enough, I will give you something special. Ah, you have collected some, but not nearly enough to get my special gift. I'll kill you! Okay, so that's where the Zora lives. And I'm assuming that if I come out here, I'll go on the other side and I'll be able to get that treasure chest. Or this stone. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So now I can go back and forth to that guy. There's nothing else that I really want to get, so we're going to pick a place and we're going to head out there. Let's see, there's Reef. We could go to the Reef. There's Sandbar, Reef, and Hermit's Island. Is there anywhere else? I thought, yeah, there's is Wither Lands. So that's going to be the first area we'll probably end up going to. I don't know if I can actually get to the Flying Island just yet. So, I'll tell you what. Let's go to Sandbar. And then we'll swing by um, the other place. Oh, gotta kill these guys. I shoot you! I'm a pirate! Give me your loots! Hey, I got some XP for that. I think this is actually pretty cool. I mean, yeah, you don't have the freedom to explore, but it's like an on-rails thing. Where you can get some money and XP and fight monsters and stuff. With your little pop gun. Pop, 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 pop. I wonder if I can shoot the birds. Nope. Alright. Oh, there's some bloodstone, I see. I think this area is really... S yeah, this area is tiny. But I think the note said there was something... Or, we got a note that exposed this area, so... Must be just the bloodstones to get here, so... I'm gonna assume that I need at least 10 bloodstones to get the guy's special rewards or something like that. I got seven right now. So. Can I, yeah, come back around. Chop, 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 chop. There's number eight. Yes. And that looks like that's all for this area, sandbar. Okay. So now we're going to reef. And then we'll head to the Withered Lands. Which is the area that I assume that we are supposed to be going to. Ooh, look, there's some stuff over there. Oh, shoot this guy before he gets to ball on me. Yeah, I'm trying to hit those mines. Oh, bird, I killed the bird. No, I wanted to kill the bird. Nice looking water. I wonder if it looks the same as it did on the iOS. Because if so, that's pretty impressive. But I think this is a... Advanced or... Graphical updates and stuff. Probably for the Steam version. Because it really does look good. I can imagine this being on a 3DS too. Should be pretty cool. Oh look! Number 9. Yeah, it's my bloodstone. And is there another one? No, there's the reef. Oh, yes, there is. Awesome, so I'm gonna get to 10 on this island. So aside from the bloodstones, it didn't look like there was anything else to get, so. Oh well, it's a start. I will go back to Tickerel real quick and talk with the Zora looking guy and see if I get something special now. So, Tickerel. Actually, hold on. It tells me the completion of the land. 46 complete. Oh, it doesn't tell me how much of a completion that is. Okay. Yeah, we're going to Tickerel. 
just spending a day exploring. Then we'll go back, eat some dinner, go to sleep, prepare for the withered lands and stuff. Shoot the island! Oh, shoot the bombs. Mm, loving the music too. Oh my gosh. Very Zelda inspired actually, as well. I mean, this whole game is just Zelda, Zelda inspired. Man, I really hope they do more games like this. That'd be pretty sweet. Okay, here we are back in Tickerel. Crunch. Alright, Zora man, I need to talk to you. Okay. We'll head inside his lair. You have collected a lot of bloodstones, but not Oh what? Are you kidding me? I have like ten. How many do you need, bro? Okay, well that was a waste. So I will go ahead. Oh, did I already get this bottle? Yes. I think that was in episode two that I got it. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's travel to the Withered Lands. Bye bye, Tickerel. I'll see you later. Oh, get the bomb! Yeah. Oh, trying to hit the boxes. Ah, ah, ah. You did. How many do I need? 750 for the next level up? Okay. Hopefully, we get there. Hmm. Somebody is playing Daisy. Actually, the funny thing was, I thought I had notifications like that turned off. Oh, well, I will have to fix that. Oh, get this guy. Patow! There's the Withered Lands. It looks so menacing. She looks like a desert. But then again, it is withered. Even though the ocean is coming right up to it. That's pretty funny. Kill an enemy with a jar. I already got that. With the lands, pert to a desert. It's hard to believe all this wasteland used to be a forest. Oris lived here. They are all gone. A great deal of wisdom disappeared with them. My bad. So I, I also forgot that in the uh, log. I uh, kind of ended the episode before we got to Bomb Island, and I skipped out on that audio for the episode, so... Sorry, it's kind of lost. Look at this checkpoint over here. So I wonder if the Ogre are like the... The Geru, the Geru people from... The Legend of Zelda. Whatever they're called, the Gerudo people. There's only one way to go. Let's head that way. Watch out for goblins and ogres. Ogres. Oh no. <laughs> if ogres are the guys, the big guys with the hammers, I'm in trouble because I haven't been able to kill one yet. Hopefully it's just a matter of using the bomb. Ooh, look at that dead grass. A pert her desert. And there's nothing to do with that. Actually... What are our objectives? Bouncer. Bounce an enemy with a shield 10 times. And making friends, which will give us 100, is release the dire folks prisoner. Okay. That sounds simple enough. Can I catch this on fire? No? Okay, well, I'm just gonna explode it then. Explosion! 
I wonder if I'm supposed to do anything with that. Yep, kill you, drop a bomb here. So I don't have to repeat that next time, I hope, hopefully. I should be able to just to go straight through if I just push the first stone through. I don't want to go down there. Ooh, look at the little goblin. Can I bounce him like 10 times? How do you bounce? Did I bounce him? Bounce an enemy with a shield. Don't know how to bounce. Is it like this? I'll have to test it and see. I don't want to go down there because it looks like there's no way back up. Yeah, I'd have to go down. And I don't really want to go down. I want to go forward. And that's the checkpoint, so I'm going to head there. Oh, look, there's another. Oh, that guy has a crossbow. He's gonna be a douche. He's gonna shoot me. I know it. Oh, and there is a giant a ogre guy. Hey, ogre. Take it. Oh, sweet. I actually killed him. How did I do that? Because <laughs> I thought you couldn't hit him. Hmm. Excuse me. There's a bird up there. Is it a duck? Yeah, it's a duck. Give me your soul, duckling. Can't go over there. I don't want to go near that guy. Oh, I got half a heart worth of damage. That's cool. Really need to learn how to bounce a guy. Operate these blocks from the guard tower. Okay, so we gotta find the guard tower so we can pull through. And there's a gate that is locked or shut, I guess. Get lost. Kind of am lost, so there you go. Oh, I can actually hit that guy now. Oh, but I'm gonna back away. Stand right here. No, come back. There you go, you're dead. Give me a heart. You just gave me a bomb. That I kind of wasted. Okay, could really use a heart now. You, give me a heart. You sure are giving me a lot of bombs instead of hearts. Heart. Heart. Have a heart? Give me a heart? Yes, there we go. My life has prolonged for like a couple more hits. Ooh, there's a cave here. What's inside the desert caverns? Um, I cannot go up there. So hopefully there is a way to get it from the other side. Should be at least. I have to look into it next time because I'm pretty sure I just go straight back to the east or something like that. Maybe get it. Oh no, the bugs are back. Oh, actually, what's this down here? There's another. There's a cavern. It's okay, the same area, just different location. Oh, rat. I will kill you eventually, rat. Huh, I wonder what these boards are for. stuff um 
I wonder if I can walk this back. I mean, I, I wonder if I can walk across that, is what I'm trying to say. Or maybe I'm supposed to put it here. I'm gonna try the barrel first. Nope. Okay, I just go right through it. That kind of sucks. Okay, so I'm gonna reset the puzzle and then approach it from the other direction. So yeah, that will reset right there. And then I should be able to just push it straight back, right? Right there. Yep, and that'll go ahead and activate those stone blocks. Allowing me some space and freedom to pull through. And I'm back here in Petra Desert. Wow, that uh, giant, bl oh, that block is moving and he's got a face on the block. Go somewhere else. Okay, good. Don't hit me, don't come near me. I was kind of wondering, like, is it going to do anything or is it just going to stare at me all creepily and stuff? Or he just decided to stare at me. Goblins. Come here. Ba-da. Ah, ah. The strategy of swordplay. Oh, there's an archer. Pick up. Throw. Ah, ah. Everybody dies to my sword. Um. Do I need to push this in? Yes. Wait, is there somebody in your face? Never seen an Oru before? Nope. I actually have not. So, eat it. But I need to somehow push that block down. Ah, here we go. Backstab! Oh, I so wish. Because that would have been like the perfect one. He would have been like all dead and stuff. Critical hit. Rogue's taken from behind. Get two bombs that I don't need. But I should be able to come over here, push this block down. And push it in. Release the gate. Yeah, release the folks prisoner. And I got 100 from that. Did I level up? I don't think I did. What's that look on your face? Never seen an Oru before? I'm grateful that you saved me, but I must be going. Come to see me. Come see me on the other side of the desert. I'm at my hideout. Statues are the key to my place. My name is Rigger. Cool, Rigger. I guess I will see you never. So I'll call you never. Oh, there's spikes over here. And an ogre. I'm actually gonna toss this at the ogre. Ah, poop. Come here. Just gonna freak out over there. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, didn't realize I was dead. Oh, hopefully all this. Oh, that's the cave that I just came out of. Okay. Get to go back. Didn't realize that was a cave. And hopefully everything's saved. Kind of looks like it. Yeah, the ovary's not there, so... Must have saved. Wow, sweet. I can't throw things. Charge and kill him. Slash his guts out. Toss that bomb over to that guy. Kill him quickly before he even gets to see me. Ha ha ha. stop drinking tar juice. Take your band of goblins and come to the hideout. We are preparing to raid Tikarel. It is time for your gang to stop being useless. Okay, so they're gonna raid Tikarel. How about that? Um, ooh, I got a heart. Yay. Yeah, you laugh it up, bro. You laugh it up. Is there anything that I can do? Oh. 
Yes, I can push this right there. Get rid of the spikes and come on up. Oh, but there's a treasure chest here that I want. So let's go get the treasure chest. Right. Two bombs. Didn't need it, but oh well. Ah, the guard tower, yeah. That controls the uh, stone spikes or whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I should be able to drop down over here. Hey, it's that speed boss guy. Anyways. Let's see what I want to do. Kaboom. You're all dead. And I got a bomb back from that too. That's sweet. So I got a ooh. bomb. I killed him with a bomb and I got a bomb back. Go ahead. Shoot your bow. Because I'm going to slash you in the face. There you go. You're dead. I wonder if I'm close to the entrance. Oh, and here's the hideout. Okay, let's take a look real quick. Because I'm pretty sure this is going to reset. So... Do I need to, like, get him on the grass? Yes. Okay. But that's not the grass that I want him on. I want him on that grass. that one and then this guy come up and step on this one and there we go easy puzzles easy puzzles and here we go we're at Rigger's home I'm totally going to call this an episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Check the description for my Facebook and Twitter information, and while you're at it, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up to support this series, and subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you guys in the next video.